All right, we are back with Namel Tapwaters Norris from Four Wheel City. Um, I love everything you just said about the songs that you have made. Um, I'm curious to know um, how New York, you know, living in New York might have inspired some of those songs. Like, do you have any stories of accessibility troubles within New York City, perhaps? <laughs> well, I would say the movement is a whole spill on New York City because it's, it's just explaining like what happened when I started trying to go out to like do stuff socially. I wasn't, well, not even socially, even when I came out the hospital and stuff, um, the school I went to wasn't even wheelchair accessible. So I had to go to another high school. So, oh my gosh. So you had to leave like everyone you knew, the teachers mm -hmm. you were with, mm -hmm. to, to, simply because you now had a disability. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. So, like, that was right off the bat. Um, and you're, had... you're already like dealing with such a big change physically that mm -hmm. also leads to another big like mental shift, you know, mm -hmm. adjustment, emotional adjustment to switch schools. So. Yeah. Wow. Wow. There were so many things like going to schools, calling first. That's why I made the movement like in the, the first verses, like, let's see. Well, first, I like to say recipes of Christopher Reeves, like I sign on my chest, that's what's bothering me. What's the problem be when I'm out in the streets? It's like, I can't go nowhere. What's wrong with me? Like when I go to the store, I got to call first to see if it's wheelchair accessible. How can they treat me like a vegetable? Like I ain't here and I can say I don't care, but the truth is I can't walk up the stairs, so I need a ramp and an elevator too. While you at it, bring accessible bathrooms. Because when you want the same thing, if it happened to you, and welcome to Four Wheel City. Where are you from? Four Wheel City. Here we come, Four Wheel City. It's a movement for improvement. That was like, it sounds like a song now, but it wasn't to me when I wrote it. It was like how I felt. Uh, I wrote, that's I wrote it like in five minutes because wow. it was just how I felt. It wasn't even like I was trying to do anything tricky. Yeah. That well, that's like amazing. It's like poetry just flowing from you and from your thoughts and your situation. So that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah and like, then, yeah. Yeah, I took, I was like, I took, I said, you know, my rhyme, but I took like all my like cliche ways of rapping, like metaphors and everything. I took it, I removed it. I said, I just want to purely just say exactly how I feel in this song. And just yeah. rhyme it. And that's what I did. It was like pure, pure, like a lot of those songs I was doing, I mean, it was like pure emotions. Yeah. Like I wasn't trying to really like impress anybody too much. I just wanted to like say how I feel. I think what, that's when the magic really kicks in. When you're not trying to impress anyone, you're just digging deep into how you're feeling. And that's going to resonate with so many people, you know, yeah. uh, just. I think the more specific we get with our experiences, the more universally that story can be shared. Um, so that's so, so powerful. Um, I know for me, like dealing with New York City subways is a nightmare, even with a prosthetic leg. Like one of the machines just ate my disability card that had my picture on it and everything. So then I had to like, yeah. they they gave me a billion things to do to get a temporary one and to get a new one mailed to me. And, you know, you have to go to one specific kiosk in Times Square. And it's like that, that's not easy for me to get to. Like I have to go like a mile out of my way to get there for a temporary one because the mm. machine ain't my card. And like, you know, there's so much that makes it extra hard to be a person with a disability yeah. living in New York City. Yeah, because I've been in the wheelchair for like 22 years, and I would say it's, it's, it's coming, there has been changes, there's more accessibility, like the cabs now, Ubers, mm -hmm. have lifts, um, trains, some, they need more elevators, but some train stations have lifts, but I remember like, even, the, this is 1999, I first came home, and I had a legal issue to deal with, and I had to go to the court, and we took the train and I remember my mother had to um, 
check out how we had to get there. But when we got downtown, I don't think the elevator was working. And they had to carry me up the stairs. And I also, um, it was like some officers. This is maybe like three days fresh out, like the hospital. Um, wow. And I had to deal with that. And I remember also going down the curb and like my the, my front wheel hit like a, the, the street was kind of messed up and almost falling forward. And my friend had to mm-hmm. catch me. And this was like, I didn't even know anything about how to get, get around by myself yet or really even push myself. I was like, wow, this is crazy because I can't yeah. even, like, just go somewhere. It's like the danger zones. Yeah, it's a big learning curve, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. And then it comes to like physical therapy and occupational therapy. And sometimes health insurance doesn't even cover those things for a lot yeah. of people. And they're so necessary and so important to, you know, fast track mm-hmm getting used to being in a wheelchair, getting used to a prosthetic leg or whatever you're going through, you know? So there's a lot of work to do. I actually was just looking into, cause I'm about to move to New York, hopefully. And oh, my yeah. health insurance in New Jersey is a lot better than in New York. So it can vary even from state to state, you know? And I'm like, New York state, why are you so awful for prosthetic legs and prosthetic arms? Like what's going on? Oh yeah, you know, that, that sounds yeah. to consider too. Like the yeah. state helps more and stuff. Yeah. Just, just and some and some states I hear like really accessible too. Mm-hmm. But, um, more because I've, I've been traveling, doing music a lot, and I noticed like there was places that had cabs before New York, and I was surprised. And go other places and it seemed like other stuff. I just came back from um, Vegas and was at the Grammys, and they had um. A lot of the casinos out there, they had the, the bars and the clubs had a lot of ADA compliance. They had like the lower bars and stuff. Every bathroom was, they had a lot of ramps in the, um, in the, in the places like in the clubs and stuff, they had ramps and it was kind of interesting to see how, and I know it's a smaller space, but it was kind of yeah. interesting to see like these things that I know it's supposed to be everywhere, be somewhere, then be like, get get kind of used to it there. Mm-hmm. And, well, you know, if it's not there, sometimes you might uh, overlook the fact that it's not there. But when it's there and you use it, it's like, oh, wow, like, I would like to have this everywhere, you know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And the Grammys, how was that? <laughs> oh, that, that was... um. It was like kind of a moment to remember it because I went with um, the organization that we're starting now that's getting going called Ramped, the recording artists and music professionals with disabilities. Um, went with like the co founder of Vlachi um, and another artist, Precious, who's with it. And we went um, as, as invited guests of the Grammys and supporting it. They also, um, they helped us launch it in um, January of this year. We launched from the Grammy Museum Experience. And I guess going there, I didn't really know what to expect, but the fact that it was like in Vegas and stuff was pretty cool because I got to take in a lot at one time, like being in Vegas, but also promoting my song that I just released, Immortalized by Tupac and Biggie, maybe still being alive and stuff. Tupac got killed out there, so I was doing that. But the Grammy itself was, it was an interesting experience because being there for the first time as an artist, when I wasn't nominated, it felt like it because I guess the journey to get there felt like um, it was a moment to, um, like a victory moment for the community because how we got there to represent Ramp, but also yeah. people were kind of take a notice to like what we were doing, the way I was dressed and stuff. I was getting a lot of attention. So it was, I don't know, for like my birthday or something, but it was nice. Uh, and then to be at the actual event was um cool to see the artist, my favorite artist Nas perform. Um, and it just was cool just to be there, like give me a little closer to like my dream being realized of like one in one one day which I think will happen. And just 
hopefully helping other people be inspired to do it too. Ah, uh, incredible. Oh my gosh. What a moment for performers and singers and musicians and rappers with disabilities. Uh, I'm so, so glad that you mentioned that because Ramped, Lachi, you guys are doing just incredible work. I want you and Lachi to do a, a collaboration. That would yeah, be cool. that's going to come soon. Yeah. Oh my God, amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, Namel, Four Wheel City, thank you so much for being here today. Um, I'm thank so you. glad we got this chance to catch up. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to um, be performing in Philly on uh, the 11th of June. Elisha is going to be performing there. Like a couple of ramp artists are going to be there at the Disability Pride celebration on June 11th. If anybody in the Philadelphia area <laughs> want to come out and rock with us. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. June 11th, Philly, Disability yeah. Pride. Oh, yes. Amazing. Thank you so much. I'll pitch that again at the end of the show too. Okay. Um, incredible. Maybe I'll even come down, you know? Oh, yeah. I have two shows that day. Maybe I can't. I have to be in New York, but my yeah, family lives close show. to Philly. Yeah. The show. And actually another member of Ramp, she's, she, does, she did the score for the Macbeth play, um, Galen Lee. Yeah. yeah. She's what she's oh, cool. with the company too. Cool. Oh my gosh. So it's gonna be jam-packed with amazing performers uh, with disabilities. Incredible. Well, yeah. thank you so much, Namel. I'm so excited to see you again soon, I'm sure. Keep making your music. Um, we're all excited to listen and congrats on the Grammys. What an exciting Thanks. moment. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know, one thing was... I didn't mention too, be on the lookout for my um my web series coming too that I want to work on with the disability channel, The Adventures of Mr. Waters. Ooh, yes. Yeah, oh my important. gosh. That's important yeah. too because I'm trying to capture this experience. That something else I was on filming at the Grammys too, like while I was out there. It's gonna be it's gonna be about what happened in two times big and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, look out for that. The Adventures of Mr. Waters Disability Channel. Cool, cool. I love it. We need more series like that where we're just like exploring disability through a very authentic lens. So yeah. that's awesome. Yeah, cool. All right. All right. Thank you. <laughs>